all right hello everybody and welcome back to another video so this video is completely different so i've decided to basically do like a content change so yeah um from now on we're going to be doing a lot of software related things that involve like really just like ios specifically um so yeah hope you guys look forward to this um I know some of you originally subscribed for gaming content, but it's just like, at this point, it's not really, not really my sort of thing anymore, you know? Um, and I'm also, okay, so, right now, of course, I'm just doing software-related things. Um, I'm hoping that, like, at some point, I'll be able to do kind of, like, um, hardware, too. Like, you know, each year, the, you know, Apple releases new stuff. Although, um, you know, <laughs> that's a lot of money, so maybe if we can get this YouTube channel going, you know, start making some money from it, I can start, uh, you know, reviewing hardware too. But anyway, so let's start off. Um, as you may have seen by the title of this video, it is, like, the top five best iOS 16 features. So, I've ranked these from not worst to best. Well, it is worst to best, but it's like, none of them are bad. It's just the least important to the most important, I feel like, you know? Um, so yeah, let's, let's get into it. So we're just going to use this one phone for today. Um, alright. So, number five, actually, we're going to go down. So number five is music. Now, music got a couple different, like, revamps here. So let's go ahead and turn down the volume real quick. And just like that. Um, and I feel like this brightness is kind of being overexposed. Let's bring it down a little bit. Alright, anyways. So, if we hop into music here, um, you guys will notice once it loads here for a second, if we wanted to play just something for, something random here. Now, if we go into the lock screen, you'll notice we have... Let's actually start here. So, we have the lock screen and we have this new little now playing platter, I think is what it's called. Um, and so you can control your music from here. I like the, the cool little, like, animations you get. Um, and if you click on the album artwork, it kind of is this big, like, it fills up the, the whole sort of thing, you know? And I am a big fan of this. I like how it looks. Um, so yeah, this is, that is, uh, music. And, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of it. Battery percentage. Now, <laughs> it's kind of funny. So, this has been a big thing that a lot of people have, like, not been a huge fan of. And, like, ever since the iPhone X, like, we haven't really, like, we haven't had a, a convenient way of seeing, like, our battery percentage up here. And, well, and now we do. So, with iOS 16, um, and actually, iOS 16.1, which is still in beta form, but it's bringing this battery percentage to the rest of the phones it was missing from before. Um, so, you can think about that too. But anyways, so... In iOS 16, you can now see your battery percentage without having to, like, go into Control Center and stuff. So the way you do it is you go, so you're going to go into Settings, then click Battery, and then up here at the top, you'll notice there is a switch for battery percentage. So you click on it, and then now you can see your battery percentage. Now, I do think that Apple could have, like, made it a bit more appealing, because, um, like, right now it's just the number right here, as you guys can see. Um... But when it does drop below, like, drop at 20% or below, it will have, like, a, like, it'll, the end of it will kind of turn red. It's kind of hard to explain, but, um, you just, gotta, you just kind of have to imagine it here. But, you know, I kind of wish, like, the white part behind the numbers would also, like, go down. So, like, it kind of, at first glance, just looks like it's full, but, like, I mean, you do have the numbers there to tell you. So, I personally love battery percentage. Um, so, yeah, I <laughs> pretty cool um anyways so that's battery percentage the next thing we got going on is lockdown mode so lockdown mode is so the way you get to is you go into settings go to privacy and security then scroll down to where you see lockdown mode so lockdown mode is well let's let's read let's read what it is exactly so lockdown mode is an extreme optional protection that should only be used if you believe you, you may be personally targeted by a highly sophisticated cyber attack. 
Most people are never targeted by attacks of this nature. And then it says, when iPhone is in lockdown mode, it will not function as it typically does. Apps, websites, and features will be strictly limited for security. And some experiences will be completely unavailable. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> that's interesting. You know, it's, it's interesting. So, if we go into lockdown mode here. So, let me, um, let me do this. So, so you're going to click on lockdown mode. And so, it gives you a, a list of things that will stop working, I believe. So, it says, when iPhone is in lockdown mode, apps, websites, and features. Okay, so we read that. So messages, so most messages, attachments are blocked, and some features are unavailable. Incoming FaceTime calls from people you have not previously called or blocked. Um, web browsing, some web technologies and browser browsing features are blocked. Shared albums, shared albums will be removed from the Photos app, and new shared albums will, and new, sh um, and new shared albums in, in invitations will be blocked. Um, and then a couple other things. So, we're going to click turn turn on lockdown mode right here. And so, you're going to have to turn on and restart. So, I'm going to cut the video and, you know, because it's just, it's just restarting. So, let me put in the passcode. Alright. And so, it's just going to restart. So, I'll cut the video here in a quick second. Alright. See you guys in a second. Alright. And we're back. So, it just, it just booted back up. And everything looks pretty much the same right this second. Um, let's just give me a new website here. So it does actually say lockdown ready down here. If you click on it, it does not seem to do anything. So I'm not really sure, like, what all of that means exactly. I mean, social media seems to work relatively fine, I would say. I mean, it's taking a second to load, obviously, but, um, so I'm not really sure what all it does. I guess if you guys have this feature, you can go in depth with it. Um, so anyways, let's, I guess, uh, turn it back off, I believe. I guess we just, yeah, so it says, I mean, it says everything, it's limiting. So yeah, so let's, let's click, turn it back off. And so it'll restart, I'm gonna put in the passcode. Um, and then I'll cut the video back to when it has finished restarting. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so we're back, and now it should just be functioning as normal. So anyways, the next thingy here is messages, actually. All right, so we're just going to text myself for this uh, example here. So let's just, we'll do that. All right, anyways. So basically, uh, there's two main things. So number one is, so if we were to say hi, all right, now I'm sending it to myself. So it's just, this might act a little weird, I guess. I don't know. We'll just kind of see. Anyway, so if we say hi, um, there's two new things we can do. So number one is we can edit messages. So if I maybe misspelled it or I wanted to, do it differently I could click the edit button and then now we can click so if I want to say hello instead click done and then it'll redo it as hello and now you can see the past edits so keep that in mind but yeah so there's that um and then maybe for example I just am disgusted with what I sent for some reason well you can undo the message so basically it just completely unsends from the person now, keep in mind, for both of these features to work properly, the other person does have to have iOS 16. So, basically, that means, like, if you edit a message, it will say edited, and then it'll have the message beside it. So, it will send a whole new message. Not that great. And then if you unsend a message, it's just not gonna, like, there's not really gonna be anything anyway. Um, it'll just be exactly the same. Nothing will change. So, keep that in mind. And then you only, you have a maximum of five times to edit so keep that in mind and you have a 15 minute limit to edit the message and then for unsending you can unsend it of course once um and you only have a two minute limit so keep that in mind too all right um next and last number one is lock screen so the big main new feature with ios 16 is the lock screen like when you first update it probably looks something like this except it'll have your own wallpaper well, so what you do is the easiest way to, st to get into lock screen is just be on the lock screen. It's like if we power this off and then let's unlock it with our face and also just hold down. And you're not going to have any of these custom ones here. You're just going to have your this one, which you actually oddly cannot customize. And then you'll see this little spot right here. 
So you're gonna click on it, and it gives you a bunch of featured wallpapers. Let's, uh, my goodness, here's pictures of me. Um, photo shuffle, weather and astronomy, uh, emojis, collections, and color. Now, there's a lot of different things that I'll probably end up making just a whole other video on because there's literally just so many things. Um, so let's just do like the basics. So if we wanted to take like, let's say we use like one of these collections ones. So this is kind of like a, the bubble one where it kind of moves as you move the phone. Well, so what you can do is you have three options. So you can click on the top here, which is a, is a set of widgets. So you have, these are just stock widgets, I believe. So there'll be definitely more, uh, like options and things. But yeah, so, um, or maybe like that one, you know, we could do that. Um, and so then next we have the clock. So for the clock, we have a couple, we have a couple preset options and then you have obviously different colors and then you actually have a ton of color options. So we have like a whole spectrum and then sliders if you want to get really specific. Um, so there's that. And then right below it is you can like set another set of widgets all right so i think it's pretty cool these are just stock ones but like if i wanted to have like random time zones i guess <laughs> and fitness and then when the sun goes down you know you can do all that now obviously most of these are actually pretty hard to see with color <laughs> um but yeah so you can you can edit all these things and then if you wanted to click customize home screen you do that too we can have some blur going on it doesn't really matter because you can barely see it with this wallpaper anyway you can get some color some gradient and yeah so and then there's photos all right yeah so anyways um that is everything actually so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video it, it's a new type of video that i mean i don't know let's how do you guys like it i mean it's definitely new and different um but yeah so if you guys want me to start like reviewing more like content like this please be sure to tell me because you know yeah um <laughs> but anyway so hope you guys enjoyed if you did please remember to like subscribe and hit that bell to get the notifications and stuff yeah so anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one so yeah bye guys <laughs>